<laughs> Hello everybody, it's Krista Burgess here again in Kona, Hawaii. And uh, obviously another video update for you, let you know what I'm doing. And uh, I want to um, say I'm sorry for not doing a video last week. Time got away from me and we were just doing so much and I got really busy. So i uh, do my video this week, kind of let you know what's been going on. So not this week, past week, but the week before that we had a man named Adam Cox from the boiler room in Kansas City, Kansas. Um, or maybe it's Missouri, I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, he came in and he talked to us about family um, in the Bible and all throughout Scripture and um, yeah, how God is just a God of family and you know the Trinity is this is a perfect relationship and that's what God wants with man is just is a relationship and that's really what um, the whole focus of Scripture is is just a return to relationship and um, give you the highlight for me my highlight was really how to share the gospel and um, you know it was really relevant for the Jews to hear the gospel being shared where there was a forgiveness of sins because they really understood sin they knew about sacrifices they knew that. Um, if they sinned, they had to give a sacrifice. And so for them, the forgiveness of sins was really a valuable message. And uh, that's why the Jews went around preaching it. The first uh, Jews to be saved, the apostles and the other disciples that were saved went around preaching the forgiveness of sins because of the fact that, you know, um, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to go around having to sacrifice every single day. So uh, that's a deal that he brought, and then he just turned our focus to family and how one of the largest social epidemics in, in the world right now is loneliness among people. And um, really that, that focusing the gospel towards family and how Jesus came so that he could restore relationship with people. And that it's not, it's not only about um, our forgiveness of sins, but it's, it's about that restoration of relationship. And really that's what people are looking for. And so he, he um, challenged us to focus our sharing, focus our time sharing the gospel with people and directing it towards family. So the next time you start talking to people about Jesus, before you go into talking about how they need to be forgiven of their sins, talk about them being joined into a family because that's what Christianity really is. And uh, God isn't as much focused on um, the sin as He is the relationship, and that that's really what struck me from two weeks ago. That will forever change the way I share the gospel with people for sure. Um, past week we had a lady named Amy Solers and she spoke on the Holy Spirit and really brought a lot of insight to people and it was an amazing week. I've heard her speak twice before and she has been excellent every single time. Um, she has really good friendship with Awaken and it was really exciting to have her back again. Uh, yeah, just really deep insights from students about the gifts of the Spirit and fresh baptism in the Spirit um, and that kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, if you would like to listen to our podcast, which I highly suggest you do, I would advise listening to Adam Cox podcast first. Uh, he's amazing. Um, you can look his stuff up at kcboilerroom.com, or you can listen to the podcast from our Awaken DTS. If you open up your iTunes, go to the iTunes store, type in Awaken DTS 2011, and it should come up, and you can find Amy Solar's podcast. You can find Lauren Cunningham's, Adam Cox, Lou Engel, um, all those who've spoken in our school over the past uh, seven weeks or so. So I'd highly advise you to go check those out. So on the outreach, we're going to be leaving in about two and a half weeks, which is amazing. It's come so quickly, and I honestly must say this is the fastest DTS I've ever been a part of. It seems like time has just flown by, and I am so amazed that it's already here. Um, our students have really been coming together as a family. The Ireland team is um, caring for one another. We're having amazing prayer times and the Holy Spirit's meeting us every single time. So we're absolutely stoked for what God is going to do in Ireland. Uh, there's a team already there with a school called Circuit Riders that was a conference here for five weeks at the beginning of the quarter. And they've been absolutely um, just running um, all over the country with the Holy Spirit. They've seen many salvations, healings, um, uh, they're planting fresh ministries and the team that's there for two months is on a scouting trip right now and they'll be planting there for uh, two years in February of 2012 and we'll be joining with them for a little bit once we get there. Pretty excited for that. I have a lot of good friends on that team so it's, uh, it's going to be fun to see them after not seeing them for two months. Pretty stoked for that. Um, 
like I said, I'd have some pretty big news for you in this video. So for those that have been waiting, I thank you for your patience and I uh, hope this news, um, yeah, you, you appreciate it. So I'm uh, going to be flying to Ireland uh, on a one-way ticket, which uh, I've never done before. Um, and after Ireland, I'm going to be staying in Europe with a uh, couple on our Awakened ETS named Calvin and Camille Hansen. And we are going to be doing a um, road trip around Europe, um, visiting ministries, um, starting ministries, evangelizing, all that kind of stuff uh, for an extended period of time, anywhere from um, three months to uh, indefinitely. And I've taken this time to commit to Calvin and Camille for an indefinite amount of time. I felt the Lord speak to me to do that, just to commit my time, my service, my prayers to them for this time and yeah, really be an armor bearer to them. So wherever they go, I'm going and I'm just going to serve them however best I can and whatever I feel the Lord's saying. So I'll be doing that for, I don't know how long, pretty excited for that. It's going to be an amazing time. We're thinking about starting in Germany and um, going from there and there will be about six of us going we have four confirmed people um, right now total and we're looking to have six to possibly eight and it's due to be an amazing trip and I'll keep you updated definitely with that because that trip we're gonna see amazing things happen we're just really excited for it so uh, that about wraps it up and if you would like to give towards my trip to Ireland I'm still in need of about uh, $1,300 towards my trip to Ireland and um, I don't have uh, any money towards my trip after Ireland so I'm going to be staying there on faith uh, with the Lord not sure um, about what he's going to do but I know he's called me and so that's what I'm leaning on not on the physical circumstances so if you'd like to give to either of those trips um, you can go to my blog which is linked below and you can go to the right hand side of my blog and click donate and then donate whatever you felt the Lord give, uh, you, or whatever you felt the Lord lay on your heart to give. And uh, you can also check out Calvin and Camille's video updates. Um, they'll be the ones I'm traveling with and the ones I'm committed to for the next indefinite amount of time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it uh, and pass it on to those around uh, you, those you know, post on your Facebook. Um, just make it viral. It would be amazing to uh, see where we go with this thing. So, yeah, thank you so much. And I will uh, talk to you all later. Bye.